Now, I live in New York City, and when you live in Manhattan, there's a good chance you don't have a car. This is because your life revolves around legs, apps that summon a way too big SUV or too small hybrid, or a vehicle that is synonymous with New York City, taxi cabs. I have to tell you, I love taxis, but I do have a problem with many of the drivers because of cologne. Many taxi drivers think that it adds a splash of personality. I just see it as nasal pollution. But taxis have a lengthy history in our pre-rideshare lives. Because with a whistle or a wave, you could grab yourself a cab. If you think about it, ever since the inventions of the wheel and axle, somebody somewhere has needed a lift. Carriages for hire have been around since the early 1600s. For centuries, they've been used in cities to move people from point to point. The Henry Ford's curator of transportation, Matt Anderson, met me at an iconic cab on the museum's floor to take a ride back in time and learn more about the evolution of today's taxis. Well, I've been in a lot of these. It's a big city icon, the classic checker taxi cab. Right. The word taxi, where does it come from? Taxi cab is actually a portmanteau of two different words. Taxi comes from taximeter, which is the physical device that calculates your fare based on the distance traveled. And then cab is a shortened version of cabriolet, which was a type of two-seat carriage used for horse-drawn taxi cab service. How soon after the introduction of the automobile do we see the taxi cab? Taxi cabs adopt automobiles very quickly after the car comes on the scene. Though interestingly, early cab operators tended to favor electric vehicles because they were clean and quiet, and the limited range really wasn't an issue for a taxi. And did those early taxi cabs use taximeters? They're essential to the whole process to figure out a fair charge to give people for the transportation. The design of taxis, when did it start to diverge from just regular automobiles? Checker always said they were making cabs specifically for taxi service. So the vehicles are more durable, they're reinforced on the frame, the fenders are easy to swap out if they get damaged, and it's not stylish particularly, but it's also not something that looks terribly old. It's just designed to look like a taxi. That's the whole point. Are there any innovations that came from taxi cabs and trickled out to other automobiles? The big one, I think, is the advent of GPS mapping technology. You know, prior to that, the, the cabbie would have a paper map, and for the most part, you would rely on their knowledge of the city streets. And they also, frankly, can make it a little more comfortable for the passenger as well, because they can trust the GPS, knowing that they're not taking a roundabout route. With the explosion in ride sharing, where does that leave taxi cabs? It's really changed the whole game for taxi cab operators. But on the plus side, you know, taxi cabs have a little more sort of reliability behind them. You, know, you can trust them maybe in a way that you might not getting into uh, somebody else's passenger car. They're also more colorful. I mean, literally and figuratively. I mean, you might get a driver who has a parrot on his shoulder. <laughs>